Have you ever been sitting at your desk at work and just wish that you could travel more, or work remotely, or build a business that you could take anywhere? Live more intentionally, have more time with loved ones, find freedom? That was us until two and a half years ago when we left our old lives behind and set off for full-time RVing. And we've been doing that ever since, so we are proof positive that if that's something you're considering for yourself, it's totally doable. And even if not, we want to encourage you to live adventures in the everyday, whether they're big or small. So join us on our adventures and go live your own. We used to live in the DC area working corporate jobs. Climbing the corporate ladder, we thought that was the thing to do. It all started to feel like a rat race. And we wanted something different, but we didn't know what that was, at least not for a little while. Until... My dad invited us in his RV to go with him on vacation. And he had just bought his RV, and coincidentally, he's still RVing more than 10 years later. And so we jumped at that, and we went along. We spent two weeks going through the Utah National Park, southern Utah, all the way over to Moab. And when we got back, we realized it was such an amazing trip. We had no idea that a vacation in an RV or a lifestyle in an RV could be like that. So we started thinking, oh, maybe someday in retirement, that could be us. And then we started thinking, someday, why not now? That was the funny thing, is we had, up until that point, we had never even been in an RV before. Nope, and just like that, things changed. So after that trip with my dad, we started dreaming, then we started scheming, <laughs> we started planning, and more and more, the idea of getting in an RV sooner rather than later took off. And we decided we were leaving DC, we were going to move to Denver, though we were hoping that our companies would let us continue to work remotely from Denver after six months. And luckily mine did. Um, Unfortunately. Mine did not, but in the grand scheme of things, it didn't really matter. I found work again a few months later. It was no big deal. And that's the truth. Six months. I mean, the trip felt big and epic and amazing, but six months in the scheme of your whole life was hardly anything. And it, it was worth the risk and worth the adventure, and it kickstarted everything for us. So we bought a 2012 Skyline Koala 23CS bumper pole travel trailer for a really great trip around the country. It was amazing and we thought we were going to settle down in Denver. Boy, were we wrong. Yeah, because here we are, not in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> so we moved to Denver, we really enjoyed our time there. We thought we were going to buy a house, ended up not, we were just rented while we were there and we had a couple of kids. Yeah, Clara and Nathan. Kids really are flexible, portable, adjustable. They're enjoying it. So it's been good for us as a family. So after just a couple of years in Denver, we already started thinking about it again. Kevin was already building his business. Christine, fortunately, was already working remotely. We started researching. We discovered we wanted a mid-bunk fifth wheel to give us lots of room to grow into with the kids. And after lots of RV shows and looking at floor plans online, <laughs> touring RVs, um, we bought our RV and hit the road February of 2018. We really enjoy the freedom that this lifestyle gives us and the ability to explore and all the time that we've been able to spend together as a family because it really goes by so fast. It really does. So thanks for watching. We hope that you join us, that you follow along, subscribe. So from the skeletons to you, we hope you never stop adventuring. <laughs>